Hello and welcome to West Country Wanderings. Glad you can join me today here on a short bite back in Gloucestershire. We've actually been here before on the Cotswold number 11 when we started our journey south towards Bath. This is part of, remember we did a blue route loop. I always find that difficult to say. I managed to get through it without stuttering over my words. Blue route loop. There, there we go. <laughs> and when we covered the section of the Stroudwater Canal. But we're back here on Selsley Common and just below me there in the valley is Selsley Church. I'm hoping it's going to be open because it has some fantastic stained glass. And if you're interested in pre-Raphaelite paintings you will certainly be interested in the glass. Join me and uh, we're going to explore inside the church some, and look at some wonderful stained glass inside. The church at Selsley was built by one Sir Samuel Marling in 1861 and if you noticed it's got an unusual style there's a reason for that Sir Samuel Marling visited in the uh, 1850s and early 1860s a city in Austria called Moran and he based his Tyrol designed church around the buildings that you'll be familiar with if you've been to Austria at any time and it very much looks like an Alpine church set here amongst the Cotswolds I have another personal interest in this church, and though this is the very first time that I've ever visited it, incredibly really, when I did the Cotswold Way and I saw this church, it reminded me of the fact I did need to visit it. Um, the reason for that is because I went to Marling School, and Sir Samuel Marling, whose church this is, actually founded my school in the late 1880s. He lived in the park just beyond this wall here, it's called Stanley Park, and we actually filmed, we did a piece to camera um, when we did a Name That Tree on the way back when we crossed down from Selsley Hill. If you want to have a look at Cotswold number 11 you'll see, you'll see that there. But the reason I'm particularly interested in this church, it's one of the very finest examples of an arts and crafts church. In fact, Sir Samuel Marling commissioned William Morris, no less, to design the internal fabric, which looks, as you can see, I'm inserting some photographs now, absolutely stunning, and it's uh, beautifully maintained and kept. Now, why this church is so celebrated is that William Morris brought in some fine pre-Raphaelite painters to help him with the designs of the stained glass. He brought in Edward Byrne Jones who was at the um, Arts University in Birmingham. I can't remember the exact name of that but I'll, I'll drop that in there. And uh, he also brought in, uh, I think his name is Dante Gabriel Rossetti and Ford Maddox Brown. Three very very high profile um, painters from the pre-Raphaelite uh, series of paintings and they are famous for their own works and I'll drop some of those in and probably insert them I've got some creative free comments to see what else they did but they worked with William Morris on the wonderful stained glass here at Selsley. Now I actually got to speak to one of the people inside the church when I was taking the photographs of the magnificent stained glass and in mid-October there's going to be a folk concert inside of the, the, the church here and the reason for that is two days ago, I'm recording this on the 28th of September, on the 26th of September, one Edith Holden who was a writer and a painter, she was most famous for Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady and she went to the Birmingham School of Arts where she met Edward Byrne Jones and it's possible that she actually visited this church here. But she was born in 1871 so it's 150 years, two days ago, that uh, it was her anniversary of her birth and uh, she's also got connections to this part of the world as well. I believe the book was made into a series, television series, sometime in the 1990s through Central Television. Um, I'll put the details down below about that, but it was a very, it was, the book was published actually posthumously in 1977 and was a huge publication success. I'll also add in the information um, from the website about the uh, date of that concert, but you will need to give them a call or contact them on the website if you wish to come along to that because it's bound to be very very popular and obviously because of Covid and social distancing spaces are very limited.
Now I do apologise, the rain just came down really really heavy and I think for the second time only here on my channel West Country Wanderings I've had to resort to doing a final piece to camera in my car to hide out of the rain of already getting on my camera, on all of my camera lens. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that short bite today here in the Cotswolds in Gloucestershire, just telling you a little bit about the wonderful stained glass from the Arts and Craft Movement and the Pre-Raphaelite painters here at Salesley. If you did, please consider a like, a share, a subscribe, a comment, you know all this kind of usual stuff, but thank you very much for watching and thank you for supporting my channel. I really, really do appreciate it. Hope you're all keeping well. There'll be some more videos coming along probably in the next few days having a trip down to Devon and Cornwall so there'll be some content from that part of the West Country. Until then, take care, all the best, cheers, bye bye for now.